Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning, but you know what? It's cold. <laughs> Y'all, it has turned cold in Georgia. It was cold. Been very cold. And some of my flowers have gotten hurt, you know, since the cold came. And I hope they're going to be all right for a while. It usually don't get this cold this fast but it has I got I got my coffee out here trying to stay warm in here here's my company coffee y'all come on up here close where you can hear and see and see what's going on today <laughs> there's always something going on but it's a beautiful day though it's Blue skies, no clouds, just blue skies. The wind's not blowing right now. So maybe it'll warm up some today. I hope so. I'm not I'm not prepared for this cold weather yet. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't do well in cold weather. Let me drink some coffee and see if I can warm up. And I don't know where my birds are. I don't think they like this cold either. I see some flying way up there, but they're not right here close. But they're here somewhere right close by. They they wish I would go on so they could come eat their seeds <laughs> that I put out for them. But they'll they'll come. There's some come right back there in a, in a little bit when they find out they're there. I hope everyone had a wonderful week and a day and enjoy what time we we have here on this earth that the Lord has given us. We, we need to try to enjoy that instead of uh, complaining about, <laughs> and Lord forgive me, I'm not complaining, I'm just telling y'all, <laughs> but yeah, I reckon I'm complaining a little, but I know it's gonna get winter, and I'm thankful that I'm here to see this winter come. Cause, you know, when you get 81 years old and almost 82, uh, you done seen a bunch of them and you might, you just be proud you can see another one. <laughs> Thank the Lord. I, I, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day and drinking your coffee and your warm, chair and uh let's see what what we can do today to <laughs> what we can get into and do today first of all I, I i've been dreading this a little bit you know uh you know i planted some cane well, in the spring, I went around there, and I was going to get my cane out that I plant, uh, bedded. You bed cane. You don't, you don't have any seeds to plant cane. You have to have a stalk of cane to have cane. I don't know where it first come from, but anyway, it don't have seeds. You have to get a stalk of cane to grow cane. So... When you plant the cane and it comes up and then in the fall of the year like now, you go around there and you cut it off and you bed it again so you'll have some in the spring to plant when it gets springtime, when it's time to dig it up. But this last fall... I went around there to get my cane that I had bedded. I dug and I dug and I dug. I couldn't find my cane. Y'all, I was so disappointed. I didn't know where in the world it went, and I still don't know. I found some pieces like 
Something had eat it from the bottom up. I don't know what it was. I have thought about it. And I think it might have been ants. Ants love sweet stuff. And they were some ant beds, I think, around there. I think those ants went down in there and eat that cane. I was so disappointed. I some of it come up from like the old sometimes when it don't get as cold and I try to cover mine up just a little bit the the old places where the cane was growing sometime it will not get killed during the winter because it's in the ground and I try to cover it with some stuff and cover it with straw and keep it from freezing too bad and some of it was coming out and and from the old stalk so I said well I just you know I just won't have any uh, to plant except this little bit that I've got here coming up so uh, I don't know if it was the same day or the next day or what it was I can't remember but my phone rang and my friend from New York Lisa Bruce she said I saw that you were very disappointed in your cane I said well yes I was really and she said well you're gonna get some cane I said, what? <laughs> she said, you're going to get some cane to plant. I said, what are you talking about? She said, I've ordered you some cane, and it will come in a few days. You know, it, she got on the Internet somehow and found some in Florida or somewhere. She sent me some cane, <laughs> y'all, to plant. And... I went and got my mail like, you know, I could always do at the post office. And I was looking for a long pack like cane. <laughs> well, I didn't see any and I didn't see any. So, and I always get my mail and my uh, fan mail. I put it over there in a place that I keep it till I get so much and then I... Uh, open it. Well, she called and she said, have you got your package yet? I said, I haven't seen it yet. She said, well, the post office says it is there. And I said, well, I haven't seen it. <laughs> she said, well, over there where you keep your fan mail, uh, would you go over there and look? And I went over there and I I saw a little package from her. I said, well, this is a package. She said, well, would you mind opening that package? I said, okay, I will. <laughs> I opened that package. Y'all, cane in there was like pieces about this big, six pieces of cane in that package package I never dreamed that was the cane I was looking for a long piece of cane I didn't <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be cut up like little pieces but it was it was green cane it was there's red cane and there's green cane well this package that she sent me was green cane and it come from Florida I said oh I would have never dreamed this was cane in this package. And she laughed. She thought it was so funny. I said, okay, well, I thank you so much. You are so sweet. I don't know how in the world you do all this, but she does it. Anyway, uh, I got the cane out. And I went around there, and I planted it. 
I th I videoed uh, planting that uh, stuff. I I videoed it when I put it when I put it in the ground so she could see it. So now then, <laughs> I'm going around here, and it didn't grow. It's alive, and it growed about this tall. It didn't grow tall, tall like. The, the summer was so dry and hot, it did not grow tall like it will grow. But there's some uh, pieces that I'm going to cut and I'm going to put it in the bed. And I'm going to save it till next year and plant it. And hopefully next year won't be so dry and hot that it affects it too much. It's... It's hard to grow something when it's that dry. I tried to water it, and I did water it, but, you know, water doesn't last much when it's so dry. You water it, and then in a few minutes, it's dry again. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go around there and cut that cane and bed it and get it ready for the winter so I'll have some for the spring so Lisa Bruce won't have to worry about getting me some cane again. <laughs> I hate she had to do all that. I I declare I I I can't get over how kind and caring people are to me on here. They are the sweetest caring y'all are. Y'all are the sweetest caringest people have made my life such a joy to live in my later years in life. I'm just, I'm just having the best time <laughs> of my life almost, just, just getting out here and doing things and talking to y'all and making my videos and, and y'all say you like my videos and I'm so happy I never dreamed it. Uh, nobody would want to watch my videos. I, I really am very surprised and proud that y'all do. So let me, and I, I've got something, I've got something over there. I got something to show y'all before I go around there, but I'll show it to you. And I'm going to turn my camera off and, and get it ready to go over there and look. Lordy mercy, I wish it'd warm up some. It is like 40 degrees out here, and it was colder. It's been a little colder, but it's warmed up a little, not a whole lot. And I got to get this cane done because I don't want it to freeze, and then it will, won't grow. You know, if it freezes, it'll kill it. It won't, it won't do good, so... That's what I do to have cane. I, I go to a lot of trouble. I, I've always had a, my daddy always planted cane when we was living in the country and way back in the woods, didn't have any money, didn't have any lights, didn't have any, uh, hardly nothing. My daddy always had a cane patch and I always wanted a cane patch like his. And I would get out there when I was like, five years old, trying to dig and plant me a cane patch like my daddy had. <laughs> I've always liked planting things and doing things, and I'm still doing it, y'all. <laughs> this, I mean, it's been with me through my whole life. I'm just, I just love to plant, and every year, I have such a time, I say, I'm not going to do it next year. I'm not going to try to plant anything. I'm just going to quit. But the next year comes and spring comes, I change my mind. Oh, Lord, I got to get out there and plant something. I can't stand it. I got to plant something. So that's what I do. I just plant something. So I'm going to get around here now and show y'all all this stuff I'm fixing to do. And I'm going to cut my camera off and show y'all on the round there how how I'm gonna do that y'all y'all don't go, don't go away y'all stay in your chair and sip your coffee till I get ready <laughs> Woo. 
Y'all, this is the first thing I want to show you. Is I planted this bell pepper in this flower pot. It's just a flower pot. Let me show it down this way. Y'all see this pepper? This is awesome pepper. I planted it in this pot and I've never had any to grow this good. Is that not awesome, y'all? A big old pepper. That's, that's one. There's another one. Lord have mercy. Another one. I dropped it. Here's another one. Here's a red one. It's not very big, but here's another red one. Here's another green one. Here's another one. That might be all of it. Y'all, is that not? Here's another one, but this small one, I'm going to leave it. I know it's going to freeze, but. I'll pick it before it does. Gathered off of my flower pot of bell pepper. Is that not awesome, y'all? I never grew any this good before, but this done very good, so. Okay. Okay, y'all. That is McCain, one, two, two little, two or three little stalks I put there, but that's, this is not where my other is. I'm going to go over here and cut it now. Let me put my gloves on. I don't know if y'all can see this big old stalk of cane or not. But it's, it's, let me get up here closer where y'all can see it. Okay, that's it. Ain't that, oh look, that one's already, Oh, you can't see it. That one's already got a little sprout thing on it. Oh, there's some ants already on it. Shoot. Yeah, I bet you that's what. I'm going to spray for them things. So, y'all, this is a 
Let me get back over here. This is a, a big, big, it's way up there. It's this long. Okay, I'm going to lay it right here for right now. Cut the rest of it. Here's another one that's not as long as that other, but it'll be, it'll be some to plant for next year. Okay, here's another one. I hope y'all can see. Here's another one. Okay. I got this cut. I'm going to lay it right here. Now I'm going to go around here where my other's at. I got some in two places. I'll let y'all see where I cut it. <clears throat> right there's where I had it planted. Okay, I'm going to go around here now and to that other place. Y'all, I just moved a piece of tin that was laying right here, and and this is ooh, this is where ants was under that tin. I'm gonna spray them, but I'm not going to plant, put that chain back here because these ants, I, I believe that's what, that's what got my cane is those things right there. Okay, there's my cane. I'm going to go over here and cut it now. Okay, there's a piece. Okay, I'm going to lay it right over here.
cat. That's all red cane. Okay, this is my little cane that I, my friends sent me. Let me get over here where y'all can see it. I'm hoping that it will come up from, from the old and I'll show y'all I'm gonna put it in a separate place that it comes up from these old little stubbles down here. See this? Can y'all see? This is my red cane. It's called red cane. This is green, green cane. It's still good. It's just green. It's, it's the color of it. So... This is my cane cutting. Let me put it down here. This, this big one here, I'm going to try to cut a piece off. Do much with these gloves on. Let me back up a little bit with my camera. <laughs> I'm going to take my gloves off because I can't do nothing with them on. I'm going to cut this up like like you do when you when you're going to chew some of it. You peel it. My hands is cold. You cut your little piece like this. This is how my daddy used to do. <laughs> He'd cut it. And a little thing like that. Then he'd cut it one time in the middle. And then he'd cut it another time the other way. And it makes little pieces like this. Where y'all at? And then you chew it. Oh. 
It smells sweet and good. And you get the juice out of it and you spit that part out. And this is what you make syrup out of, and sh sugar and all kind of stuff. You hear me smacking? <laughs> I can't do it as good as I used to could when I was young. My teeth was real good. All I got to get to work. I'm going to see the rest of this later. I got to put a place down here for this cane. I'm not going to put it back over there because those ants are over there. And I'm going to spray some ant stuff down anyway because I do not want the ants to get in my cane again. Okay, that's enough of chewing. It is sweet as sugar. It is good. All right, let me lay, let me lay my stuff down here. Find out where I'm going to put this cane. I'm going to turn the camera off till I find, find a place. I hadn't decided completely where I want to put it yet. Y'all, I have decided, since this cane, I'm going to put the small cane right here in this tub. And maybe the ants can't get in it. I, I can't put the big cane in here, but I think I'm going to put the small cane in here. And I don't know. I may let it grow in here. I don't know. Uh... I'm go I got some, I went around there and got some straw, and I'm going to put this straw in here. I'm just trying different things. My daddy didn't do it this way, but the way I did, the way he did, the ants got in it, so, okay, I'm going to. I'm going to put my green cane in here, too, because I can tell it from, from the other. I'm just going to put it in here. It don't matter about the tops here. Uh, now let me put a little more straw on there. Cane in here. So when I go to eat it up, fell out. Now, cover it up.
probably lay some some old cloth or something in here. I got some foam rubber out here. I might put it over it. But anyway, I'm going to leave this in here for the winter. I don't th I'm going to spray and keep the ants off. I've never seen any ants in this tub because they have to climb up to get in it and I don't guess they want to do that. I don't know. Okay. Now let me get around here and put this other in the ground. I'll let y'all see how this turns out in the spring. I won't know either till the spring. Y'all, I've decided to put this cane right here where it was growing pretty good. Uh, put some in two places so I won't, maybe some of it will survive. Y'all, it doesn't really get that cold here that it would freeze the ground a lot. Okay, I think that's enough. Let me get some straw. I got to go rake it up. Okay, I'm going to get the straw. It's not going to take too much.
longer than my hole. I got to dig some more. Draw in here.
Okay. I'm gonna stop. Well, I got that job done. My camera cut off right then. I was thinking, I was thanking y'all for watching this video and watching my video. Some people may not care about this, and I can understand, you know. Some people are not into all this. I am. I don't know why I am, but I am. I'm. I like doing stuff and planting stuff and doing what you got to do. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get too old to do it. I guess it just won't get done. Because I don't think Cody cares nothing about this stuff. He doesn't show any interest in it at all. And let me have a sip of coffee. And no one else. My son doesn't care about this kind of stuff. And... You know, unless he acquires it in, in the coming years, I don't think he will. <laughs> uh, it just won't get done. I'll just do what I can do as long as I'm here. And then, I guess I won't worry about it. I'll be somewhere where there'll be no worries, no sorrow, no tears, no sadness. It will all be joy, and that's what I'm looking forward to. A joyful place that where there's no more uh, things that you can't get done. Everything will be fine. It'll be wonderful, and that's where I'm planning on going. I hope y'all are planning on going there so we can all meet together there. Won't that be awesome? <laughs> I guess I won't be doing videos there. Oh my goodness, the wind has started blowing. For some reason. But anyway, I'm through with this project. And maybe this one won't be long. Because I'll cut out some parts of it where I'm just not doing much. But thank y'all so much. Have a blessed day. Subscribe and share and click the bell. To get notifications when I make another video and thumbs up and I guess I'll see y'all in the next video and 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 y'all don't forget next spring I'll be digging all this up unless I decide to oh no I'll be, I'll be digging it up I'm gonna dig it up and put it somewhere uh, maybe different places to see where it grows the best you know just put some in I had some in over here and then some back there and the one over here side of my carport done great it was way yonder tall and and it was nice cane too i i mean it was really really nice and i enjoyed doing that and y'all be kind to each other and say caring things to people that mean so much to a person that might not hear that much and you'll be you'll be proud of yourself for doing that and they'll be proud that you did that too i'll see y'all in the next video bye bye <laughs>